Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We continue updating you on the latest on the world of football. As always, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell and give this video hundreds of likes. In this video, we are going to talk about Chalaba's potential switch to AC Milan, we will also talk about reports surrounding Charlie Webster with a potential loan to Hiran Veen to acquire some minutes for his career development. This with much more stories on our coverage. So without wasting any more time, let's dive into it. After Saudi exits and £65 million Havertz deal, player admired by people within Chelsea also in talks to go. There have been a number of departures at Chelsea this week, now, Trevo Chalaba could be the next to leave Stamford Bridge. Well, journalist Dean Jones recently told Give Me Sport that people within Chelsea admire the 23-year-old and believe he can still become a huge success at Stamford Bridge. However, negotiations have now started between Chelsea and Inter Milan over a deal which would see Chalaba move to the San Siro. Talks are being held over an initial loan deal with an obligation for Inter Milan to buy the Freetown-born defender next summer. Although, there is one stumbling block at the moment. Chelsea are believed to want a buyback clause in any deal they strike with Inter Milan, something the Italian giants are currently not too keen on agreeing to. Nevertheless, Simone Inzaghi seems determined to sign Chalaba. Inter Milan view the Chelsea number 14 as someone who is perfect for their style of play, with his versatility in particular catching the eye. Chalaba can play at centre-back or as a right-back. Despite the fact Chalaba is rated highly by those at Chelsea, we would be very surprised if this deal didn't go through. The England under-21 international wants regular first-team football next season as he aims to break into Gareth Southgate's England squad for Euro 2024. With plenty of options currently in Mauricio Pochettino's Department of Defenders, Chalaba will surely have to leave Chelsea if he wants regular action. Therefore, we would be shocked if Chalaba doesn't sign for Inter Milan this summer. After Arsenal agreed a £65 million deal to sign Havertz, Matteo Kabakic joined Manchester City, and Golo Kanti, Khalid Okulabuli, Edouard Mendy and Hakim Ziyech headed for Saudi Arabia, Chalaba looks set to be the next departure. Do you think Chalaba should seal this move from Chelsea? Give down your opinion if you think he should leave or stay at the club giving your own take for the option you prefer on Chelsea Academy product Trevor Chalaba. With that said let's continue. On other news, 19-year-old Chelsea prospect Charlie Webster is about to leave on loan to the Dutch side Heeren Veen, who finished 18th last season in the Eredivisie division. It is understood that the 19-year-old Blues prospect will first extend his deal at Stamford Bridge, currently due to expire next summer, before leaving for Heeren Veen. The report adds that the teenage midfielder has received transfer interest from the likes of Borussia Dortmund and PSV Eindhoven, but Chelsea are opting to reward him with a new deal and some first-team experience out on loan. Webster is yet to play a minute of senior football in his career, but we've seen him pictured around the first-team group at Chelsea fairly frequently in the past couple of years. The English youngster explained 18 months ago that he loved working under Thomas Tuchel, who he described as a brilliant coach. He's been a big success as an integral player in Chelsea's under-21 side, but we agree that a first-team loan elsewhere is the right next step in his career. In particular, we've seen so many youngsters thrive and improve their game in a competitive Dutch league. Hopefully, Webster is another big talent to come from Chelsea's academy at Cobham. Our hope is that he's ready to compete for a spot in Mauricio Pochettino's squad this time next year once he's got a full season of senior football under his belt. With that said, let's change to another topics. This next topic is about Conor Gallagher and his link to Bundesliga's last season runners-up, Borussia Dortmund. Gallagher has been among the least of players rumored to be leaving the club this summer. In spite lots of uncertainty surrounding the player, he's openly expressed his desire to continue with the West Londoners and if he manages to stay, may likely be an integral part of Mauricio Pochettino's squad at the bridge. Only time will tell. On to other stories, Chelsea, Manchester City and Liverpool have all made inquiries over the availability of Real Madrid star Federico Valverde, according to a new report. With all three clubs looking for new midfielders, Team Talk is reporting that feelers have been sent to Real Madrid and Valverde's representatives regarding his availability this summer. It has also been noted that neither the player or club are interested in the move, though. He was initially considered part of Madrid's long-term project. 
although with the arrival of Bellingham from Dortmund. Game time may become less, prompting move. Next. Chelsea may have finally found a solution for Romelu Lukaku. Chelsea could sell Romelu Lukaku this summer with a new shocking club interested in his transfer. As per Gazzetta dello Sport, the sensational idea of Lukaku at AC Milan, the direct rivals of Inter, has surfaced and the Belgian striker is now being considered as an option. The Rossoneri's financial difficulties make any serious move a challenging one but according to the report, the Blues could sanction a departure for just €40 million, Euros, £34.5 million. Pounds. Although the player prefers Inter as destination, he might change mind. Next update, Chelsea set to battle Arsenal for £34.5 million pound transfer. Arsenal and Chelsea are both showing interest in signing Monaco defender Axel de Sessay this summer. The Frenchman already has numerous suitors with Manchester United being one of those and an offer from Old Trafford is expected soon. The Gunners want to recruit defensively and Chelsea losing Calado Koulibaly could see them show a keen interest. Next topic, Chelsea set to receive third man United Mount bid. Manchester United will return with a third bid for Mason Mount in the coming days, according to transfer guru Fabrizio Romano. The latest offer from Old Trafford was worth £50 million, with £45 million guaranteed, and while the Blues rejected that proposal, his asking price was lowered. £60 to £65 million will now be enough to sanction an exit this summer but Man United are still insisting they want to pay under £60 million for Mount. With the player already made his mindset, it will only be fair for Chelsea to take a lower fee, than keep a player who does not have his heart at Chelsea, and with his contract expiring in 12 months' time. The finance from his sale will strengthen. The squad in other area, as Chelsea has set their eyes on talented prospects around Europe. Vega for example might be signed as a good fee, lower than Mount's value at the moment. For this reason, Chelsea should analyze United's next bid and accept it if it is anything over £60 million. Mason Mount has rebelled against his boyhood club and even decided to join one of Chelsea's rivals, Manchester United. This won't go well with the funds who might have to boo him at the bridge. Chelsea will be looking to get done with their sales of players to raise the enough funds to sign players, especially in the midfield and central striking position. Nicholas Jackson is already on his way to Chelsea, but Mauricio will be looking to add one more striker to his squad for depth. Young Ivorian striker David Detro Fofana could leave on loan for more minutes, as next season could come with little in terms of minutes for the striker, whom only joined in January. That's it for now, be around for more updates from this channel as they keep coming in. Turn on that notification bell to get the updates. To my new viewers, consider hitting that subscribe button to boost the channel's effort. Like, comment and bye.